turn your Bibles, that awesome playbook from heaven, turn your Bibles to the book of Luke chapter 15. We will be discussing a very familiar parable, but from an angle you probably never dissected. Luke chapter 15, we'll begin reading at verse number 24 as we conclude the subject of insecure. Insecure is when someone does not feel comfortable with who they are. Insecure. Insecure people have difficulty having balance in life. The Bible says God cannot bless an unstable man. And most insecure beings, male or female, are unstable. Therefore, they are removing themselves from the blessings of God. Let's, let's read beginning with verse number 24, Luke chapter 15. Because this son of mine was dead, because this son of mine was dead and is alive again, he was lost and is found, so they began to celebrate. Now his oldest son was in the field. As he came near the house, he heard music and dancing. So he summoned one of the servants and asked, what these things meant. Your brother is here, he told him, and your father has slaughtered the fattened calf because he has welcomed him back safe and sound. Look at verse 28. Then he, the older brother, became angry and did not want to go in. So his father came out and pleaded with him, but he replied to his father, Look, I have been slave in many years for you and have never disobeyed your orders. Yet you have never given me a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. Take your seats and ask your neighbor, are you that insecure? Now, 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 we're all familiar with this passage, with this parable. But we always focus on the first part, which is the prodigal son. And most of us can relate to the prodigal son because most of us, if we're honest, all of us, but I'll say most of us because some of you are not transparent enough to say that you once were lost. But for those of us who are bold enough and real enough with our own stories and our own life, we can say we can relate with the prodigal son because we too found ourselves in a hog pen of life. We made some bad decisions. We've messed up. We've strayed away from God. We've made some boo-boos and God had to send grace and mercy and get us back in our right minds and get us back home. And when we got back home, there was a waiting God waiting to love on us and forgive us and restore us and renew us for those of us who can celebrate God for deliverance, let's give God some praise. Yes, yes, yes. So, so we, 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 we rejoice on the story of the prodigal son because we can relate to it. But the story does not conclude after the prodigal son gets back home. For the Bible says there was an older brother at home. And as I began to study this concept of insecurity, because God is taking this ministry to higher heights and higher planes, and, and over my time of praying and asking God to dissect what this ministry needs, God says you have to run out the spirit of insecurity because insecure people will suffocate the vision. Because they will try to keep the vision small and they will try to maintain you and the vision. So begin to minister to insecure people so they can handle God doing something great in their lives. Insecure people cannot receive God doing anything in their lives greater than what they've already received. In other words, insecure people have already made their minds up. The best has already passed them. Listen, I, I rarely ever use the word never, always. But I can say this boldly. Insecure people always end up in dysfunctional relationships. And insecure people always create Negative environments. 
If you want to have some mess and confusion, hang around some insecure people, and I don't care how popping the party is, they're going to find something negative to say. Insecure people always bring drama. And I don't care how much you love them and love on them, insecure people really cannot receive love. Because if I don't like or if I have a problem with who I am, it's hard for me to receive love from other people, even the love of God. And I will find fault in everybody else because my insecure self won't look in the mirror and deal with me. So instead of me dealing with me and my complex and my inferior complex, I would rather cause problems with other people. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's just walk through the text. I just want to teach the word of God and bring people to liberty. Let's begin with verse number 24. Bible says, because his son of mine was dead, he's alive again, we will celebrate. Notice here, a celebration is taking place. A celebration is taking place. It's like a typical Sunday morning here at the Greenhouse International Church at 1201 Airtex. A celebration is taking place, but everybody can't participate in the celebration because insecure people have a hard time celebrating unless the spotlight is on them. When the spotlight is on God, insecure people can't get with that. No, no, notice the Bible says this boy was lost. And now there's a celebration taking place because he is no longer lost. The Bible says on a few occasions that the only time heaven celebrates the only time you see the Bible saying heaven has a praise party, heaven celebrates, is when a sinner repents and returns back to the fold. A lost coin and a lost sheep both conclude with heaven celebrating. Whenever someone's life is turned around, people should celebrate because heaven is celebrating. Whenever you see someone come down this aisle, come down this altar, and give their life to Christ, we should be celebrating. Whenever you hear someone has been delivered from drugs, we should be celebrating. Whenever someone jumps out of an alternative lifestyle back into the image of God, we should be celebrating. Whenever a man goes back home and takes his family and gives God the glory as of me and my house, we will praise the Lord. We should be celebrating. Whenever a woman becomes a virtuous woman, we should be celebrating. But insecure people will be absent from the celebration. Heaven's rejoicing, and you on the sideline. While heaven is rejoicing, you are critiquing. This older son could not get with the celebration. His insecurities are about to leap on the front page. 